16 Ways to Make Friends in High School and College Number 1. Play Team Sports Team sports like football, soccer, lacrosse, baseball, basketball, water polo, and rugby are really, really, really easy ways to meet more people. Usually, you become friends with at least a few of your teammates, and it's easy to talk about stuff since you've already got at least one common interest guaranteed. Plus, on any team, there are usually at least a couple of people who are popular at your school, so they'll be the ones who know about the parties and things that are happening so they can invite you. Number 2. Clubs and Activities Similar to Team Sports These are easy ways to meet people because you spend a lot of time with the other members and you already have a common interest. Number 3. Have a Car If you have a car in high school or college, people will ask you for rides, especially if you're a sophomore and most people don't have cars yet. If people know you have a car, they can ask you for rides, and then you can get to know each other while driving to wherever you're going. This tip also ties in really well with the first two tips, playing team sports and being in clubs. Because if you get out late, there are going to be people that need rides, and if you live around the same area, you can offer. Number 3. Invite people from class to meet up and study later. This is especially useful if you're actually good in that class because then people will want to study with you. For example, when I took calculus, I was really good at it and the people who sat around me knew it. So they'd always ask if I wanted to study with them and after a while we became friends and started doing other stuff too. Number 4. Talk to people you sit next to in class. This seems obvious, but there are so many people who just go into class and sit there never talking to anyone. Just talk to people. As long as you don't look like a total creeper, people are generally pretty open. And if you do look like a creeper, just check out my video on style or the next tip that I'm about to give you. Number 5. Be unique. For example, be really good at sports, have good style, have a cool car, or something that sets you apart. People will just comment on it and you can talk to them and take it from there. One really good way to do this is by having a cool backpack. This is a really cool way to show off your style and it doesn't require spending $900 on a pair of Yeezys or thousands of dollars on a car, and it'll make you stand out a lot. One great option is from our sponsor, June House. I actually picked up one of these backpacks myself and it's really dope. See how it's sleek and stylish without being tryhard? Not only that, but it's practical. The high quality fabric is durable, lightweight, and water resistant, which makes it a great choice for school, travel, and adventure. It has really slick detailing on it like the magnetic button and the dope velvet fabric in the back pocket. There's also a hidden pocket in the back for valuable stuff, so if you have to leave it somewhere while you're hanging out with your friends, you don't have to worry about someone snooping in it and stealing your money. I also found the back padding on the bag to be really fucking comfortable. And it actually makes it seem like you're not even carrying anything because of how the padding eases the weight on your back. So while everyone else is still rocking Jan Sports or whatever they found on the discount rack at Walmart, you'll be styling on them all. Be sure to check the link in the description for the bomb-ass discount I got them to do for you guys. Number 6. Have something to offer My freshman year, I was really into music, and this guy in my class always wanted me to help him with it. It was actually kind of annoying because all he did was ask for help, ask for advice, and so on. He didn't bring anything to the table. After a while, I think he realized this and just showed up one day with a USB drive and some songs he thought I'd like on it. I checked it out and found out he had great taste, so we started discussing music more often. He'd show me new songs, message me links to new songs on social media and stuff like that. And I became a lot more open to helping him as well. Not because I was getting something in return, but because I just respected him more when I realized he actually had something to offer. People don't like to be used. You always want to make sure that you bring something to the table. Number 7. Get a job at a place where other people from your school also work. For example, a gym or a movie theater in the area. Or an on-campus job. If there are other people from your school working there, you can befriend them pretty easily if you guys have shifts together. Number 8. Have interests When I was in high school, a couple of kids in the popular group were really into lifted trucks. Then, this new kid who didn't know anyone drove up in a lifted truck as well. And within like one or two days, he was already part of the popular group because he just pulled up next to them and went to talk to them in the parking lot. Now, if you have common interests with people, just talk to them about them. People like talking about stuff that they like. Number 9. Add people from your school on social even if you barely know them. You might think this is weird, but it really isn't. I added people even if I only spoke to them one time, or even if we just had a class together and have never spoken. And people also added me. In fact, I'd get added or followed by people I had never even met just because we went to the same school. One time, this random girl I'd never talked to and had zero classes with just added me on Facebook and said, Hey, I heard you're into running. What gym do you go to? Really random. 
But I replied and we started talking. It led us to exchanging numbers, texting, and then a few days later she asked if I could give her a ride home after school and we hung out. Really simple stuff. This also works well if you're in college and you check out new activities or parties. Just hop on social the next day and add everyone you met. Number 10. If you go to parties, introduce yourself to people. Don't stand in the corner. Don't only talk to people you already know. Introduce yourself to new people. Just go up to them and say, hey, introduce yourself and start talking. It's not a big deal. Parties are a really easy way to meet new people. Number 11. Try to make friends with one popular person. Even if it's just one and they're the only person you know because they'll invite you to do lots of shit and being around them will expose you to more people. Also, knowing someone who's popular automatically increases your own popularity too. Number 12. If you're a guy, talk to girls, but just as friends. I remember this new kid who came to our school and he befriended a lot of the hot popular girls. Not like he was friend zoned, but like he chose to just be friends with them. Then other girls saw him with them, making them laugh, having a good time and so on, and other guys saw it too. So it made him seem like a cool guy and he became really popular really fast. And then, once he had established that social status, he had tons of friends. And then he started asking out the girls he liked. Number 13. Social status We also had a guy at my school who was really good at sports, and his teammates were popular, so he hung out with them and it automatically boosted his social status. Even though he barely even talked and didn't make an effort at all, his social status made other people want to befriend him. So they'd approach him, and it was like really easy for him. Number 14. Keep up to date with friends you make. This way, you continuously hang out with people who hang out with other people and your circle of friends keeps expanding. Get out and do stuff. Number 15. Use Snapchat. It's more casual than texting, so people are easier about giving out their snaps than their numbers. Also, a lot of people like to maintain their Snapchat streaks, which means you guys will be talking more often and they're more likely to message you first as well. Number 16. Watch my style videos. I'll have them linked on screen. Honestly, as long as you don't look like a creep, practically everyone will be open to you. Even ugly athletic dudes can be popular. Most schools are nothing like the stereotypical jocks versus nerds movie thing. And you don't have to only hang out with people who dress similar to you. That's stupid. If people aren't open to you, recognize that it's because of something you are doing. Figure out what it is and get on it. Finally, it's important to choose your friends well. You want to shoot for people with similar goals to your own. Positive mindsets, people who believe in you and help you grow. People on the same level as you, not losers who try to peer pressure you into doing stupid things. Network with accomplished people and people who are accomplishing things. And have friends in various social circles so you experience more and keep yourself open. Don't limit yourself to one group, especially if you're younger. Try out lots of people and lots of stuff. And that's it. Try out these and then leave a comment and let me know how well they work for you. And be sure to pick yourself up an awesome June House backpack and use my code in the description to get the dope discount.